Good morning everybody, we're well, lunchtime in London and I just wanted to check in with you because I have lots of things that are going on and I need to share with you if you can participate in any of them. But I'm just going to start off with a new little cleansing routine and I'm going to use Is Clinical Honey um, Warming Honey Cleanser. And this is a cleanser that I've never encountered so much honey in it. It's quite sticky and yummy. It looks like a balm and you put it on and rub it in because I feel that at the moment it is so cold in London. You can really smell that honey, I love it. Um, it's so cold in London and in this bathroom, can I tell you, it is bloody freezing. We have heating in the rest of the house but we've got no heating in the bathroom. So I could literally jump up and down. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but Is Shield is something that I discovered through Victoria Health. And they also have a very good balm for any of you. When I talked about micro needling before, and lots of you went and immediately got your micro needles, started micro needling, and some people that I'm quite rare because you've gone mad with it. Um, and they have a very nice um, calming balm. So if you are suffering from redness or you've gone to do something and it's, your skin's gone a bit red, use that. And this warming honey cleanser, it's so, God, I love it. I really, really love it. I'm just gonna use my Foreo with it there um, and just Put it in, good morning everybody. How cold is it today? I think it's about one degree, I don't know. And I'm off this Thursday. I will be in Dublin and we're doing three days in Dublin at Brown Thomas, all confirmed. But for those of you who are in Ireland or have friends in Ireland, I want to let you know that we're doing different things. So on Friday at 10.30 in the morning, and at 6 p.m., I will be doing, in their beauty workshop, a wonderful event. You have to buy a ticket for it, Redeemable Against Products. But it's a one and a half hour chat. I'm gonna be there with Shasha. I'll be talking about makeup, skin, hair, and eye, how you diagnose yourself. Um, Charlotte and I will be doing people's makeup, bring them on stage. It's gonna be really fun. I'll probably talk definitely about skincare as well. And then separate to that, so that's at 10.30 and at 6 p.m., um, and it's separate to that, we have got 15 minutes appointments running Thursday, Friday and Saturday for you to come in and get your colours done so you can know what suits you. Um, so I hope that will allow all the ladies of Dublin to come in and see us. I can't wait to meet you. We've had some ladies come over to our Trini London um, at home here in the last few weeks. And that's what made me call and get in touch with Brown Thomas. And they said, hey, will you come on over? And I said, what the hell, why not? So I'm so excited to be coming. And it's been years since I've been. So that is my, that's my Dublin trip. But also we will have, for those of you who, oh, can't get there, we are going to continue Trini London here, the at homes. So if you found it very difficult to get an appointment because they have all been sold out, I have right now released Thursday and Friday for extra appointments um, for um, those two days. And we've got all our lovely ladies um, still here who are going to do makeovers, show you your colors, nurture you and send you off feeling fantastic. Um, and knowing what to buy. So I've just cleaned my skin with that. It's a really lovely cleaner, I have to say. I'm gonna show you again the name of it. Eye Shield Honey, Warming Honey Cleanser. Great cleanser, leaves your skin feeling not too dry. And um, let me just get some questions there because I'm so, God, I don't know if these are my glasses. <sighs> it's cold, hello. Good morning, good morning, Dubai, Dubai. Sunny Dubai, that's, that's a really nice thing to think about whilst I'm here in the chilliness, in the chilliness of London. Um, good morning, hello from Wales. Yes, we will be going. You love your makeover last Monday. Thank you for making a fuss, your daughter. Your daughter was divine, Jojo, and everyone thought she was fantastic and we loved having you. We love everyone who comes to our Trini Londons at home. Um, and I hope you all have a good time. I, you also have a cold bathroom in Lisbon. Well, that's, um, it's glad to know. You've got your tickets for Friday, can't wait, bag lady. I'm so, the snow, we won't have to cancel with the snow. 
I'm now going to go on to um, Liquid Gold um, Alpha. And Alpha is a fantastic brand. They do targeted skincare. And this is a glycolic solution, which you can put on as an overnight thing. But always remember that any sort of glycolic toner is the beginning of your serum regime. It's not the end of cleansing. It's the beginning of the next stage. This has in it licorice, root licorice in it. And it's just beautiful. I was told about it by ladies on Facebook and Instagram. I can't remember, but I've been using it now for a week. And I always like to let you know a week's use before I show it to you. But it's very, very good. I'd compare it a little bit to P50, slightly stronger. So I think for people with skin issues, it could help tremendously to really clean your skin. My skin is now scratchy clean, scratchy clean, scratchy clean. Um, you missed the start, what am I using? I used, well, I hope you just got that now, but we'll put them up. Any live that I do, we do put it up on Trini London under Tea Time, which is the blog, and that has, um, that has all the thing. The pink thing I'm using, darling Laura, is a Foreo. They come in three different sizes. There's a tiny one, which isn't um, chargeable, and then this one's chargeable. It's how I clean my skin with whatever product I'm using, I use that as well. And I think it's just important to help get a really proper cleanse. Um, hello, Toronto. I really hope we can come to Canada. Um, at some stage too, because I love the Canadian audience. Delighted you're coming to Dublin, Kathleen. We're so delighted. Oxford is another very good place. Um, what am I wearing today? I'll tell you, as I put on my hydration mask. So Josh Rosebrook, fabulous man. Never met him, but I use his products endlessly. This is Advanced Hydration Mask. And what I love about this is you, you pick it up in your hands and it feels a little bit like it's an exfoliator. I don't know if you remember Mary Lundstrom's cocoon, there's slight similarities. But as you put it on your skin, it turns into an oil. So it's very good to be able to massage skin with. And whenever I'm feeling that real dehydration and that contrast between the cold outside and heating inside, because there is heating in the office downstairs, I always reach for this product. And if you're on a flight, I quite like Cosmetics Rescue Balm, but if I didn't have that, I'm thinking to myself, this is such a good barrier. It's a bit shiny, but on flights, I don't really care. Um, so you would arrive hydrated. So any of those of you who live in Dubai and come to London and want things for the plane, I think this is fantastic. But otherwise, for most of us, it can be something we can just do a really nice facial massage with. So a little bit of um, scissoring is very good and just get that product in like that. I'm going to then use my roller. I'll put my glasses on as I do this and I can chat to you and see your questions. One second. Um, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. I am wearing my really old Stella McCartney shirt. And many of you say to me, Trini, you've got so many rips, you should get rid of it. But I love this um, shirt. And one of the ladies on Facebook realized that she was going to get rid of hers and she sold it to me. So I have two, but they do rip because I wear them so much. You know that thing if you love something. And I was doing this morning, I'm going to be doing a tiny bit of beauty on this morning. So exciting. And I wanted something as I was not wearing any makeup for that, that would sort of feel, leave me feeling sparkly. And then I'm wearing my gilet and my Zara jacket I got in South Africa two years ago. Cospo wear. It was in the sale at 59 quid. It must be 3P Cospo wear. And my black trousers, Stella, um, Piazza San Pioli, and my Stella trainer shoes, which make me just feel like a run around. Um, anyway, your favorite jacket, I know it is my favorite jacket too. You to love working with me and Susanna. Great to see you on here, Kate. Hello, Kate. Kiss from Germany. Hello, everybody. When you have a tan, should you change your just a touch color? Susie, probably you should. Um, I always feel that it's good to get a foundation the color of your skin and not to wear a foundation lighter or darker. So I wear Trintron through the year. And then if I go in the sun, I usually do quite high SPF, but I still might get a little bit of color. And then I'll go up to Yas, and that's the color I'll wear. But the other way is that if you have got a bit of a tan, I think we always feel 
that we need to wear less foundation with a bit of a tan. You can go up one shade, but you can have your BFF one shade lighter too. And that can, that can be a good thing to do. Um, and wear less, less foundation. Hope that answers. Did I answer that, Susie? Um, I think so. I think so. I think so. Um, so what's the pink thing, please? That's a Foreo. Um, come to Edinburgh. Yes, I know. I really, we are, we are going to travel, darling. Don't worry. We are going to travel. It is going to have happen. Um, Nottingham. Yes, we, yes, Nottingham too. You know what? I'm talking to a few retailers about if we do some kind of pop-up and I'd love to. What is the next retinol to use after Indeed? All right, darling, you're going on a, on a more targeted retinol. Your skin's got used to it. There's some quite strong retinols. In America, there's different, which is something Caroline Hiron's introduced me to, Hiron's. And that used to be prescription, but it's come off prescription now. So I got a few tubes from America, if you have a friend in America. But otherwise, um, The Ordinary has a 1% retinol, which is actually more concentrated than their 2%, because their 2% is in a diluted squalene formula or some other formula. Um, Paula, um, Paula's Choice also has a wonderful retinol 1%, and Beauty Pie has a very good retinol. So those are differing um, strengths but there, I, I will do a retinol, full retinol story very soon. I'm just building up all my products for it. Um, nothing lovely on Monday when you have a cold. No, there isn't, is there, darling? Um, Copenhagen, yes, we do want to. Is it for everybody, Trini? Yes, it is. Um, yes, it is for everybody. <laughs> um, please come to Oslo, I would love to. Um, I know it's meant to be snowy in Dublin all week, so I'm getting the earliest plane from Heathrow, so I make sure I get off the tarmac before there's any um, build-ups at the airport. So uh, I know it's going to be really snowy, but I think it's nice to come out in the snow. Please come out in the snow. Um, please come out. It'd be very good to see you. Um, Darker snowy Suffolk, my God. What is the cleanser? Could you please write it down? I will write them down for you, darling, afterwards. You'll see them. Liquid gold is great. Emma Hardy, I adore. I use her cleansing balm quite a lot. She also has something, um, what else do I use from Emma Hardy? Probably mainly her cleansing balm. And I think it's a very nice balm. It's like Sarah Chapman. I always get them mixed up. The only thing Emma Hardy is, she has a very big tub for the balm. So for traveling, I always decant it. Um, Glasgow cold, everything. Now my teeth are so white because I have veneers on the top here and on the bottom I've just had to my teeth were cracking and I had you might have joined me on my dentist expedition last Friday but I've had some uh, things put over the cracks here and I got to get them filed down today so I think my teeth are a, a bit of a weird state um, from Bhutan post chemo sore skin cleanser recommendation I would say can I just say I think that could be so good for you. And I think that whole range could be good for you. So the um, cream, the balm I talked about afterwards that you can use if you've got redness in your skin. I think these will be really good and they wouldn't be abrasive on your skin. You wanna be nurturing your skin after chemo. So um, I hope that helps. Um, hello everybody, hello everybody, hello. Italy, liquid gold is on my list. I love the ordinary, but heard so much from this. I agree with you, it's very good. Easy calm from the, uh, yes, 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 hello. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on now with my routine um, and just take you through Southampton. Southampton Airport, you have the best airport. Um, the ring, can I tell you about my ring? I was given this ring by Katie Brain and some of you might remember for my birthday, but it's actually a Trini pot. And yesterday I put in, I'm developing a new color for the lip balm. Doesn't that look nice? And I'm just mushing it together now, but um, it's quite nice that when I don't have my full stack and it's in my handbag, I always have my lip glow and I can put it on my cheeks too. Oh, loving that idea. I might sell some rings, I'll tell you. So let me just finish off with my little massage from my Josh Rosebrook. It's a very nice product. I love all his products. He has also, what else he have that I really like? Um, he has the hydration mask, he has an enzyme mask. They're all very good. Okay, and then I take off the excess with a warm cloth because it's quite, you know, it's quite sticky. You wouldn't just let it soak into your skin. So I'll take that off like that. Oh, there we go. And I could go from here straight to BFF because I've just taken off the little bit. So I've still got that hydration on my skin. 
so good that I forget, you know, I have quite a few things in my bathroom and I sometimes forget old favourites and it's so nice to rediscover them. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. I am rare because I've just been rubbing my skin, but I do believe in getting a little blood circulation going, especially if our skin is to Monday morning and our skin is feeling tired and then I'm ready for my makeup routine. I have to show you something I've been sorting out now. It's, it's really, um, is there shimmer in wisdom? No, there isn't. I'll show you wisdom right now, actually, darling, because I'm just about to put it on. Um, and it's a great product. It's a great color. Sydney, hello. We're gonna go. I tell you, we're going to get to Australia. Dry, ah, uh, dry hair in the winter. Yes, dry hair in the winter. There are quite a few oils you can use. And I tend to like a balm. So there's a Wonder Balm from Percy and Reed, which I don't know if I have it here, but I, oh my God, hang on. I have it right here. This is such a great product. This is such a great product. So weird that I've got it here. There it is. I put this on sometimes when I'm finishing off a blow dry or a few days into a blow dry when the ends of my hair are a little bit dry and I just take a tiny bit. It's sort of like that. Do you see? It's between a gel and a balm, but you need so little. And then you just go to the ends and take it through the ends where, where you feel your hair is dry. Great, great product. Um, seven secret things for acne scarring. Louisa, all right. So... When you have acne scarring, and I did have very bad acne scarring, Louisa, all around here, there's a few things, this is my belief. If you have acne skin, generally you've put quite a lot on it, so it's become a bit resilient. So I did a tremendous amount of physical exfoliation when I finished my spots, and I was just dealing with the scarring. And if you imagine water pounding rocks over hundreds of years, it softens. And I remember a plastic surgeon once said to me, that continuous movement will really help. So I do do, I did that for years. I also did, and this is for an extreme situation, I did a CO2 laser, which is something that's very rarely done now. But that laser actually takes off a few surface levels of your skin. So you're, when you've when you finish doing the laser, your skin is incredibly red. The downtime is like three weeks at least, but it will really soften scars. That's a long-term solution. Alternatively, retinols are very good for fine lines and scarring and microneedling. Um, because I think microneedling is piercing the skin, is softening that scar tissue, and you want to do things to break down and soften the scar tissue. So I hope that helps, um, and you can pick up some tips. Crusty toenails, I don't know, darling. I'll just say to cut them and to put a bit of oil on them, really. Um, that's just... Uh, my take on menopause hormones, I've got um, Jules, a really good um, Facebook Live I did with Shabir, who's a wonderful um, pharmace pharmacologist that I work with, well don't work with, I do lives with, and he um, uh, does all the supplements and, and he's a co-founder of Victoria Health. But we did a hormone special together and there are different ways you can treat menopause. You can do HRT, you can do bioidentical hormones. Um, body identical hormones, you can do just a totally natural approach. So we discuss everything. Um, and I think if you go on to Trini London and Tea Time, I found that quite an informed discussion and I learned a tremendous amount from him. Um, you had your consultation this morning, it was great. Miss Duke, I'm very happy you came in. I'm sorry I missed you. Um, you have a big job interview tomorrow. What tips would you give to ease nerves and present my best self? I am Francis. All right, darling. Um, I think the most important thing in any job interview is that you feel you've learnt a little bit about that company. Because I think if somebody comes to see me and I know they've really read up about the business and have an understanding of it, I feel impressed by that. And I think it will make you feel more confident and more knowledgeable. And also to ask them questions about the business um, and think of interesting questions you could ask them. But I think dress wise, I always feel if you're going to an interview where maybe five or six people have been interviewing before you or after you, you want them to remember you. So I do think one should dress so you stand out a little bit. So think not about wearing black. Um, you know, if it's a very conservative place where you need to wear a suit, think about a fun shirt, because they're gonna see you waist up. They're not gonna see anything on the bottom half hardly. And it's just to always have eye contact and ask questions. And remember, this is something I always did when I was doing voiceovers on radio, 
and the person said, your voice will sound better if you're smiling as you're speaking. So just remember to smile, engage, and be interested in them because, because you're gonna have a, another ego sitting opposite you and they'll want to feel, you know, they'll remember most the people who they felt engaged with them the most. So that's the advice I can give you, Francis, good luck. Um, Good luck. How do you care for all my sequins clothing? I wash them by hand generally. Things like this I send to the dry cleaners because it's got velvet. But um, yes, that's how I do. Um, I won't get rid of the shirt. I know I am actually a DHS chicken. I am getting them mended. Um, yes, um, I, yes, I love st Stella's sequins. Um, how do I feel about fillers? I think for some people they can be good because they can just, you know, give more shape to your face. But I think more importantly, it's stimulating your skin because if people have too many fillers, their, their face looks out of proportion. Um, tips for dry hair, I did that one. Best BFF, hang on, where are we now? I've lost that one, sorry. <laughs> tips dry hair, I've gone all over the shop here, sorry. I really should visit Moscow. God, yes, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, um, South Africa, hello, hello, hello. Okay, um, can you come to Leeds? My friend and I, sorry, couldn't get down this um, month for a match to be appointment. She loves your things. We will be coming around the UK, I promise, but we will be opening up Trini London at home for March. So do look on the site because we're always opening up appointments. Um, and I hope that you'll be able to get one. I know it's far to come, but I tell you the journey is so worth it. Generally, um, there's a lot going on here and you kind of, you have a real laugh. And we're near the best Sarah in the world, which is on the King's Road. Um, you love Dr. Lancer, you were in his office last month. Fantastic, he's brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. In Australia, you should be in bed. What's it like sitting beside Meg Ryan during the Infamous Park and interview? It was funny because she didn't want to be on the show and she was a little bit, I remember that interview so well, she was a bit down and Michael Parkinson was like, oh my goodness, this girl. It was quite funny actually. Um, facial sunscreen would I recommend for dry and sensitive skin. HelioCare 360 is a phenomenal SPF 50. Brilliant product in a foam. Wonderful, my favorite um, product. But if you're wanting something less, let me just, I need to just share with you what I've got here, because I just love it. When I was in Japan, I went to Delphonics, which is my favorite stationery store, and I got these, look. The yellow of Trini London. So what I have in each of them, it's so exciting, this, is I have, hold on, I'm sure. I have in this one, the stacks I most use. You might be interested to know the stacks I most use. So this is what I call my daily maintenance stack. And this I can do in a few minutes. I just actually did this for this morning really quickly. So in the top, I have, hang on a second, let me just have slippery fingers. I have my BFF and you know what I have here? I have light medium, which we are, I've just, we've just finished developing it and it's between, as it says on the packet, between light and medium. It won't be with us for another three months, but I just want to let you know it is coming. I, before that, um, bought light and medium, which was actually great because sometimes I feel I'm just light, sometimes I feel I'm more medium. And the person at the beginning of our um, broadcast who said, um, you know, what should I do with just a touch? I would say you could just change your BFF and that will change everything. So I just put a tiny bit on like that. I'm gonna show you how quick it is actually. And then I'm gonna do just a touch. So this is my stack that whatever I've got and whatever look I'm doing, I will always have this stack as my, what I call my base stack. So I'm just gonna put a little bit there under my eyes. This is foundation concealer. Very, very easy to apply. And toning down that little redness. I've got a little bit of a dark circle here. So I'm gonna cover that up like that. Oh, God, I'm feeling awake now. That Josh Rosebrook, I tell you, love that product. I must remember now to put it in my case for packing for New York. Ah, New York, let's talk about New York. So I will be at Bergdorf Goodman on Tuesday, the 6th of March, seeing press, but also ladies, any of you who are living in New York, I'd love you to come and I will bring the whole range with me and I'm just going to be there and Shasha is gonna come with me and we'll do makeovers on people and we'll chat and we'll say hello and I can't wait for you to join us. So if you are in New York and you follow us, please do. I'm going to do contour in um, cheap, the cheekbones in Kate, which is my shade. It's that easy to put on. And I start underneath and I use my palm of my hand to blend it in. Done. And dusted. 
And then, oh, I've got a new product. Then I'm gonna put my little face finish. This is running out, I tell you. Reorders, can I just say BFF Light, we're running out. We're running out of a few products, but they will be stocking up soon. So this takes away shine where you don't want it. So if you see just here and around my nose, my shine has now gone, but it's not a powder. So I'm not looking dry and I don't want to look dry. So highlighter, I'll do a tiny bit. How many minutes have we been doing this? So my base of my face has been done in about four minutes. There we go. All right. And then next in my little lovely yellow Delphonics, I've got two things. I've got the eye makeup colors I use the most, which is my matte. These are all my match to me shades. And I've got my lip to cheeks. So for the lady who asked about wisdom, was it, um, gl uh, was it uh, glittery? It's not, it's matte. And I just put it on with my ring finger like that, put a little bit on and I just place it in the socket of my eye with one finger and then I blend it with the clean finger. And I just go slightly above my socket like that. Immediate eye makeup. And then I'm gonna do the other side and I just do the base like that and then blend it in. Simple, 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 simple. And then I'm not, that's all I'm gonna do today on my eyes actually. Um, and then on my lips or on my cheeks, let's start with my cheeks, I'm going to do wiggle today because I want a nice little bit of blusher on my um, cheek because I'm not doing a strong eye and, um, and I just feel it's that nice cold weather outside so I sort of like a blusher. And a blusher lifts our face, it gives our eyes a sparkle. Blusher to me is so much more important than a bronzer because I think bronzer can flatten our skin. I'll say this endlessly because I believe it so much. And then I'm going to do my new little trick which is taking munchkin lip to cheek, which might look quite dark for you, but they're very translucent these colors, and just putting a stain on there. Like that, little stain there. You see, it did pop the eye, didn't it? Pop, 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 pop. And then I'm gonna put on top, actually, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of talus on there. I haven't done this combination before. It just makes the talus a bit less bright. There, we are done. So those are my stacks that I use. And I, you know, because it is, my brand, I have so many products around all the time, but I now spent the weekend thinking, what are the, where's my match to me? Let me put all of my match to me products. So I have them all the time in that bag. Um, now, mascara and brow. And let me just, sorry, you've got so many comments coming up and I just, I've got too many, too many hands doing things, too many hands. Um, what hair color is this? And let me do my hair first, because I just noticed that I need to touch up. I don't know how many of you know that I have gray hair, but I do have gray hair. And I did my, um, I did a blow dry today, but I realized that there is a bit of gray. And just to show you where the gray is, hang on, you can see there. Hang on, let me get, you see there? So I love Color Wow, but I love this Rita Hassan because look, gone. So good. I do the other side. Here, where I'm going a bit baldy, I just put a bit more on. Voila, it's just utterly brilliant. And the other way I think you can use hair things like this is if you feel that your hair color is too light and you don't know how dark you should do it, why don't you try these? I mean, you could just do that and it darkens immediately and you can just see different hair colors and you could take the blonde and do the same thing. In fact, I'm gonna show you a little trick. This is a little trick of something that I think is so great to do. The Bobbi Brown, um, the Color Wow ones are very good as well. Um, but if I've got blonde here, light brown, light brown, blonde, okay, is that blonde? So, with the blonde one, what you can do is if your hair is too dark and you're thinking, I want to see where perhaps I should put some highlights, and maybe you're gonna go to the hairdresser and say, I'd like some highlights, take the blonde or the platinum and then cover the thing like that. This is just the best trick. Um, and then you might think, oh, I want, to, I want to see if I should have a blonde streak here, for example. And then you just paint, you paint it on. If you can see there, 
you're just painting on a bit of colour. Do you see that colours come in? So you can kind of test highlighting before you go to the hairdresser who might not do it how you want it. So you can put it in and then go to her and say, look, can you do my highlights in these locations? That's, that's what I do a bit. Um, but anyway, I just, I thought I'd show you with that. Um, I follow you for my first time watching you. Hello, darling. Um, hello, hello. You must try Trish McFoy Instant Eye Lift. I will definitely look at it. I've got a wasp bite on my nose. What should I do? I'd use a concealer. Uh, uh, best BB cream. Can you do secret seven BB creams? BB cream, um, BB and CCs have very different definitions, but beauty balms um, could be a BB cream, but also BB creams people tend to associate with more of an oil-free primary cream. So for me, my favorite CC BB is obviously um, BFF at Trini London because it. what I want that kind of product to do is to kind of blur my skin without being a foundation, give some nourishment to my skin and to give it a bit of glow and to give it SPF. So that's what they do. I have a whole load of BB creams here, but I stopped using them um, because I use um, Trini London. But I'll tell you ones that I have liked. Andalou BB, very nice, actually quite hydrating and it's got in it some fruit enzymes because you can smell them. Um, there is the BB Sleeping Mask from Eborium, which I use at night sometimes. And this just, it's a great overnight product. Um, Dr. Jart, which is a Korean brand, has a BB cream. And this is more for somebody who has oily skin. Dr. Jart is a very good Korean brand for oily skin. And that's a good BB cream. And Philorga, you can get in M&S, has a BB cream, which I quite like as well. So there's some BBs for you. Um, that helps hope that helps um and what vitamins do i use a brand i use so many vitamins go to trini london look at the blog and i list them all there um what skincare range do you recommend for people on a budget i would recommend the ordinary their products range from four to 15 pounds and they have all different serums and all different ingredients that you would find in the more expensive brands brands and each serum is a concentrated ingredient so whereas another brand which might be more expensive will combine two or three of those ingredients usually the ordinary has a specific one ingredient or two ingredients per solution but it is it is good um, it's very good. Um, so anyway, sorry, I'm just going down here. I want to just get through the questions. Um, you don't look like you have any gray. I do have gray. It came early in my family. So at 35, I started to get a bit of gray. And um, I don't think I'm the kind of person who's going to go a beautiful gray. So I just uh, don't use that one. I'm finishing off. Let me finish off. I'm going to finish off with some mascara and with eyebrow. So eyebrow, I'm using my Laverna. Don't I always? Um, I've got to get my eyebrows done this week because um, because I'm going to be going off a lot and I just not need to not think about it. But in the meantime, I'll do that. And I'm going to have my eyelashes done next week as well. So um, I'm just going to do some mascara now. There, a little bit of mascara. Like that. And I'm done. I am done and dusted. So ladies, just to reiterate, um, if you're joining in late. So on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, Trini London will be um, expanding to Brown Thomas in Dublin. And on Friday at 10.30 and at 6, I'm going to do a masterclass. You have to buy a ticket. It's an hour and a half of unbelievable fun. I'm going to get ladies on the stage. Charlotte's editing makeovers. We'll have a hell of a laugh. And the rest of the time, I'm on the shop floor and we're going to do 15 minute appointments book them through Brown Thomas. You can book both through Brown Thomas. If you forget this information, you can go on to Trini London later today. There should be a banner and direct you to that. For New York, I'm gonna try and get a banner up tomorrow so you can actually book in some 15 minute slots to see Charlotte and I at Bodoff Goodman, top floor at the John Barrett Salon. So I think I've said everything. And um, so this, uh, yes, we are um, also Trini London, London Open House will be open on Thursday and Friday, so please book appointments. I've just released them now, so you'll find some on the site um, on trinilondon.com. Um, I think I've got to go now because there's so many comments and I've now got to go to a doc's appointment. But I send you a kiss. Have a wonderful day. Now the sun is out in London. Who could wish for a more cold, chilly, beautiful blue sky? Bye, ladies.